Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I'm making this video for the purpose of CSC 253 Interactive Multimedia Course in UITM And this is Chapter 6, Animation In this chapter, I will discuss four subtopics of animation Those are Introduction to Animation Computer Generated Animation The File Format and how to make a successful animation. By definition, animation is the art of making something come alive. It is a stimulation of movement created by a series of pictures. Animation is possible because of a biological phenomenon known as persistence of vision and a psychological phenomenon called phi. Persistence of vision can be explained as our eyes can only retain an image for 1 over 16 of a second. When multiple images appear in fast succession, our brain blends them into a single moving image. The phi phenomenon is an illusion that is visual in nature, which causes an observer or viewer to distinguish and perceive movement in stationary objects. It is a perceptual illusion in which people see motion produced by a succession of still images. Our brain and visual organs, that is our eyes, allow us to perceive continuous movement from a series of images. Illusion of smooth movement is created when our brain fills in the missing information that does not exist between successive images. In computer-generated animation, there are two subtopics that must be discussed. The first one is the animation space and the other one is the animation techniques. Animation space refers to the number of dimension that is needed to draw an animated object. Those are two-dimensional, two-and-a-half-dimensional, and three-dimensional three space. In animation techniques, there are two types of techniques. Okay, The first one is cell animation or the cellular animation, and the other one is the computer animation. Two-dimensional animation is a very simple and static animation where it is not changing the position on the screen. Examples of 2D animation is a blinking word or a changing color logo. It is a traditional or classic animation. Each of the frame is drawn by hand. The technique was the dominant form of animation in cinema until the advent of the computer animation. Two-dimensional animation uses the flat cartesian X and Y axis of the screen to develop the animation. It is basically designed to teach the students of the fundamental skills of animation. It is also can develop the drawing skills in, in terms of perspective, the live drawing, the gesture, storyboarding, and character development. Two and half dimensional animation is basically still in 2D animation. The only difference is two and half dimension has the illusion of depth by adding the z-axis to the dimension meaning that 2.5D animation has three axes those are x, y and z in 2.5D animation the illusion of depth is added by using the technique or effect such as shadowing, highlighting and the false perspective
3D animation is a complicated and realistic animations that are done in a three-dimensional spaces that are X, Y and Z axis. It is the process of generating three-dimensional moving images in a digital environment. A careful manipulation of 3D models or objects is carried out within the 3D software for exporting picture sequences and giving them the illusion of animation or movement. The image in 3D animation can be created from any angle, meaning that an animator can rotate and animate an object from any angle such as from the top, bottom, right or left. In order to animate a 3D object, an animator have to use the 3D animation program. The example of 3D animation programs are Blender, Autodesk Maya, New Text Light Wave and also the Wings 3D. The procedure of generating 3D is sequentially categorized into three main sections and these are modeling, layout and animation and rendering. Modeling is the phase that describes the procedure of generating the 3D objects within a certain scene. Meaning that in modeling, the object is created and transformed into a 3D form. Layout and animation phase describe the process followed for positioning and animating the object within a certain scene. In this phase, the movement of the object is designed and positioned and also sequenced accordingly. Lastly, rendering describe the end result or output of completed computer graphics. 3D rendering is basically the process of creating the 3D model. The image are generated based on the sets of data dictating of what color, what texture and the material a certain object in the image has. These are the animation process that an animator have to go through. The first process is organize the execution of animation. First, the animator have to list all of the activities that they wish to provide in the animation. And then, secondly, they have to choose the animation tool that is best suited for their job and then build and tweak the sequences. In building and tweaking sequences process, an animator may include creating objects, planning their movements, texturing their surfaces, adding lights, experimenting with lighting effects and positioning the camera or point of view. If an animator choose to experimenting the effects in this process, so may takes. Finally, the post process of the animation by doing any special renderings and adding the sound effects. Cell animation is the art of making two-dimensional animation with the help of transparent plastic sheets called cells or celluloid. All of the illustrations, characters and their actions in motion are drawn by hand over these plastic sheets. Cell animation is a series of progressively different graphics that are used on each frame of movie film. Disney used to utilize this cell animation technique in producing their animation movie. Cell animation begins with keyframes. Keyframes are the first and the last frame of an action. For example, we want to animate a bouncing ball from left to right, meaning that we have two keyframes here. The first one is the beginning of the ball from the left and the last one is the ending of the bouncing ball on the right. 
twinning depicts the action that takes place between the keyframe. In the bouncing ball example, twinning is the process of bouncing between left and right beginning and end. And lastly, the pencil test is used to check the smoothness, the continuity and timing for the cell animation. Computer animation is very similar to cell animation. The only difference between the computer animation and the cell animations is the number of drawing. Computer animation need less number of drawing compared to the cell animation. There are several techniques and approaches that must be taken into consideration when doing the computer animation. The first one is kinematics. The kinematics is the study of the movement and joint movement. Second is inverse kinematics. Inverse kinematics is the process of linking the object and defining their relationships and limits. And the third one is morphing. Morphing is an effect in which a still or moving images is transformed into another. Morphing is a special effect in motion pictures and animations that changes or morph one image into another through a seamless transition. While kinematics is the study of the movement and motion of structures that have joints, such as a walking man. Inverse kinematic is the process by which you link objects such as hands to arm and define their relationship and limits. For example, elbow cannot bend backward. Once those relationships and parameters have been set, then the animator can drag these parts around and let the computer calculate the result. Warping is the smooth distortion of an image or color while keeping the intact shape of the subject. A warping motion is created by overlapping frames while distorting the curves of an image or shape and it is a purely geometric technique. Basically, animation has its own software. Some of the files in this software are designed specifically to contain animations. For example, Adobe Director has .dir and .dcr file. 3D Studio Max has .max file. Adobe Animate or Adobe Flash has .fla and .swf file. And Animator Pro software has .fli and .flc file. In making a successful animation, an animator must use the animation carefully and sparingly. It is also important to have a superior display platforms and hardware and computing horsepower. If you are going to publish your animation project online, then compression of the file is very important. And you also have to know some animation tools in order for you to compare and get the best suited animation tool for your project. These are the example of the animation tool available. Those are Maya, Lightwave, Paper Vision 3D, Green Socks, Cinema 4D, Blender, H Animate, Pencil 2D, and Toon Boom. That is all for this video. Thank you.